Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to our XCOM 2 Commander playthrough. We're uh, ready to get on an, uh, another supply raid on Operation Mountain Gold. And with that, I'm gonna take out uh, Jazz along with the... Uh, well, it's starting to be the regular crew, isn't it? So, uh, Hugh, Christoph, Benito, Ulrich, Jazz and Cedric. Here we go. So yeah, a very difficult supply raid. So that's why I'm bringing two uh, Rangers. So we can have some uh, nice flank shots and maybe a, a sword strike in between there somewhere. We're in, the pipe. Five by five. We're in the pipe. That's an interesting way of saying that. Resistance forces hit an advent train in this area pretty hard, and the aliens still haven't managed to get it moving again. There should be plenty of valuable tech on board that thing, so we're moving to eliminate any hostiles in this area. Secure whatever cargo you can find. Secure whatever cargo we can find. So yeah, two rangers. Just because we could get some flank shots in. Uh, I'm always doubtful when we're doing supply raids. Because these are really, really hard missions all the time. Um, so yeah, whether we should go with two rangers, two grenadiers. Um, or maybe even two sharpshooters instead of the specialists. Because yeah... We'll see, we're, we're better equipped to deal with mechs right now, so just in case we get an advanced mech for the very first time, because uh, that's something that could happen. We've got the, the EMP grenade on Ulrich, and then of course we could also hack with Benito if we uh, get the chance. But yeah, very difficult, that means we're gonna probably have four pods at the least. But now we're in concealment, so that's that's really really good. Um, Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. So we're not gonna wait too long, even though we don't really have a, a timer that we need to worry about. So let's move everybody up and check out if we can't find uh, any of the aliens yet. Um, no, let's grapple to that spot over there. Good starting position for Cedric. Maybe he, he can even see something. Yep, yeah, there we go. A mech, a trooper, and an officer. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but I'm gonna wait a turn before we do anything about that. So let's move everybody up. Uh, do we actually go f closer? We could, actually. Well, do you know what? Since we have the time, I'm not gonna not gonna risk anything just yet. So let's everybody put them on Overwatch. There we go. So they could spot Benito if they keep going that way, which is well good in my account, because yeah, no, nothing. Oh, but that is really, really tempting to just toss a grenade in there. We don't really have that many grenades in this mission, although we do... Oh yeah, because we have two now, because of uh, Ulrich's new ability, the Grenadier ability. Huh. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm gonna just move everybody up a bit. Uh, try to not, of course, get spotted. Can we actually... Hmm. Oh, I can't grapple just yet. I'm probably gonna move him up over there if we could. Can I actually check that? The cursor is going over there, but that might be because I was uh, pointing my gun at that position. Um, I'm going to guess that next turn they're going to spot Benito, so I'm going to actually try our new ability. Kill zone. Um, so let's aim that over there somewhere, because yeah, that, that seems like a great position. They're going to be over there somewhere once they start uh, seeing Benito. So yeah, here we go. Kill zone, and then put uh, Christophe a bit closer, not that he's gonna get spotted, but nevertheless, turn Vry into a better position and just leave Benito over there as bait. He's not gonna like that if I would have said that out loud, but I don't think they can hear me. I don't think they can hear me. Oh, they're moving. Ah, this is... That's annoying. Come on. You didn't spot us. Okay, so that means I'm gonna probably have lost my kill zone. Yeah, now I have to wait three turns to even use that again. Never mind. Do I start off with a haywire protocol? Don't think that's actually needed, so... I think I'm gonna just start it off with a grenade. Clean and simple. Just a grenade. Uh, but not a grenade from the... 
Yeah, I'm just going to use a normal grenade. Plasma grenade, there we go. Around here, I don't think that blows up any of the supplies, if I'm mistaken. And otherwise, yeah, it's only a small crate, so that hopefully it doesn't do that, ma that much damage. So there we go. A nice start to the party. Hello. The max damage. Ooh, that was really, really good. So that was the max armor is completely gone. Five damage on the trooper and four on the... Whoa, and the officer is even burning. Um, Yeah. That's, that's not going to take take me very long to take uh, to take out, I think. So let's just try and get Benito. Hmm. The mech has pulled back quite a way, so that's kind of annoying. I'm not going to waste too much time here. Uh, so let's put Vrijer over here so he can uh, just simply shoot the trooper in the face because he's now pretty much flanked. Still only 92%, but come on. Oh, that was... I think he didn't have a face anymore. That was... Ooh. Yes, that was that was really good. That was really good indeed. Um, Mr. Officer. Well, since you're uh, opening up like that, I'm just going to put you, you over here. And that's a 99% shot. That should just... Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> that didn't look so good slumped against the uh, the train car over there so now um yeah Cedric you have a really nice shot 100% and we do a base damage of six so I think that's yeah that's just gonna kill him goodbye eight damage yep that was that was really really cleanly done Ooh, and found something even that is actually even better because I want to start investing in uh, different ammo types so let's put Kristoff a bit further and just uh, scout out whether there are any more enemies in the neighborhood as i don't immediately see oh that is that is interesting so that thing over there the thing on the left with the jetpack is an archon um a lot of health as you can see and they have some pretty pretty nasty abilities but of course, we're still in the advantage here because they don't know where we are yet. But let's pull everybody a bit closer over there so we can start preparing for that assault. Um, what happens if I put Benito closer? Maybe I shouldn't. Or maybe I should. Come on. Live free or die trying. Yeah, okay. So he spotted them. The Archon. Let's deal with this guy. A uh, very high dodge, so we need to be careful about that. Uh, otherwise, just very, very beefy. But we're in luck, because one of the mutants decided to put himself right over there. But before we waste Kistov's cover, let's just put uh, Ulrich a bit closer, because we weren't able to put him a bit closer. And that's pretty far off to get a grenade in, I think. So we could get the mutant, but that's not really going to help us, is it? So yeah, we can't even shoot at anybody else. So yeah. Gonna have to wait and see about that. Uh, Hugh. Do you have a shot? Well, you might actually have, but I don't want to put you... In a position where you might spot anything else. I do want to get you closer though. So Benito, that's all the shots he has. So as you can see, uh, Archons are floating enemies. And enemies that are in the air, even if it's only that far off the ground, uh, have higher defense. So that's why he, the aim percentages are so bad. But of course, I could do a guaranteed 4 damage if I want to with Benito. So I'm going to keep him for last. Then we have Cedric, who has a grappling hook. Ooh, that is a very nice position. Let's put him over there. Unless there are enemies in the back, they sh yeah, he shouldn't trigger anything else. So let's start with a pistol. Uh, pistol, pistol, pistol. Pistol on the Archon, I think. Because any damage I can do is uh, very handy. Thank you. Goodbye for damage. That's... Thank you very much. I really needed that. Um... 
So he's gonna go, yeah, Battle Frenzy. So that just means he gets more... I think he, his, his abilities just go haywire if he does that. Um, Christoph, what are your percentages on the Archon, actually? 76, that's actually not that bad. But of course, he will reveal himself if he does that. If I put Jazz over here, what happens? What are your shots? 39 on the Archon, 31 and 39. So that's not really good. So I think my best bet is to just put the Mimic Beacon in play at this turn already. So let's just throw the Mimic Beacon behind the tree here, I think. That would, that would be very nice, I think. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Now I can see the Mimic Beacon in action. So that is going to draw fire. Uh, and he takes over the health bar of the person that shoots him off. So I'm actually not sure if Archons are susceptible to poison. Because Kristoff has a poison grenade as well, but... Before we do that, can we put Q over here? I'm just gonna try it. If he triggers anything else, that's we're gonna have to deal with that when it comes. Okay, that's good. And now we have a 64% on the Muton over here. And then a 62 on the Archon. I'm gonna take that, I think. Unless I use a Fragmate and remove the rock he's hiding behind. No, you know what? What are, your, what are your percentages? 62. It's actually not that good. So I'm, I'm going to use a grenade on the Muton here. Because um, that's just going to take out the rock and his armor. So that's going to be good. There we go. Oh, there's stuff on fire. Hopefully that doesn't explode in a minute. Then we have the shotgun ch chance on... Huh... You know what, if I use Cedric for that... Oh, I can't see him anymore. Ooh, that might be a problem. 6 to 8, but only 10% critical, so he's not going to kill the Muton. So I'm just going to fire at the Archon. There we go, 6 damage, the lowest he could do. So that's going to have to be better next time. Yeah, be pissed all you want. Um, then, I could... I have a small chance that I kill the Archon in the next hit, but yeah, I think I'm going to go for the sure thing. The Muton's got to die. Well, not the sure thing with 87%, but yeah, it's better than uh, than anything else. You know that was good. So his concealment is gone, but I think they should focus on... Ooh, and I still have, yeah, Implacable doing its work now. So I'm going to pull back behind the rock over here. And hopefully not trigger anything else. There we go. And now we can put Ulrich on Overwatch. And do... Oh, I could have killed. I could have killed the uh, the Archon anyway. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Could use Combat Protocol, but that's still not going to kill him. Um, and then we have Scanning... 8 protocol to give someone a better defense. That might actually work out for Cedric, just in case they shoot at him. So yeah, let's give you 30 extra defense. Just in case. Because yeah, he's in a pretty bad position. He's the only one that's kind of in the open. So uh, give your buddy a shield there. Okay, what was that? What are you seeing? You're behind the rock! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So that's a Viper getting really close to Cedric. And now we get an Overwatch shot. But he misses. The Overwatch shot was because of the uh, defense protocol that Benito gave him. Not even close. And that was a Graze. So just... Not, not even a Graze. That was just the stalk damage. So now he's gonna just punch the... Uh, the Hologram. There we go. 7 damage. Not even killing him. So now the Muton can actually shoot at the Hologram as well. And the other thing that's really nice about the Mimic Beacon is that it draws the enemies closer. So he's just going to melee him to death. But that's not actually that bad. Because now they're really, really grouped together. Really good for a grenade from, uh, from Ulrich, if I'm not mistaken. So now we have the Codex over there. But first things first, I'm going to push Ulrich a bit closer. 
How are your grenades doing, actually, from over here? Oh, you can't even... Oh, yeah, there we go. We could get a grenade in. And that should enable us to kill them off pretty easily. So if I move you behind full cover here in the corner first... I'm gonna lose the loot. That's actually too bad. Maybe if I put... I could let Hugh get the loot, but I don't want to trigger the last batch of enemies. But, plasma grenade. Let's launch that over here. I think that's a pretty good position. Boom. Yes, indeed. Boom. Boom, baby. Flex those arms. There we go. Oh, and the tree is gone completely. That's really, really good. So now we're going to have probably guaranteed kills on both of them. Um, I do want to be careful because if I'm... Hmm, I could actually run and gun towards the Viper and kill him off. That would be nice. But then I really, really want to just take care of everything else. So Jazz, come, come a bit closer. I think you're due for another kill, right? You can just... I mean, take your... Wait, what? How the hell... How the hell do you even see that? Uh, must be that Jazz has amazing sight, because, yeah... You know what? You can kill the Archon. Lots of experience for the rookie. There you go. Blammo! That was a 81% miss. Great. Great. I kind of... Kind of... Kind of wanted that to hit, actually. But never mind, let's deal with that. Um, do I take the loot? Do I take the loot? I want to take the loot. Definitely want to take the loot, but... I'm starting to run out of options here, because everybody's missing. Um, Benito, can you take care of... I'm just going to check out Cedric's shots. 93% on the Muton and 75% on the Archon. I think you should go for the Archon first. Because the Muton has a better shot. We have a better shot at the Muton, so... Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. 75%! Oh, this is gonna be bad. Um, how much damage does the Poison Grenade do? 3 to 4. So that's not gonna kill either of them. And Cedric is gonna be. Ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take the loot. So, 64 on the Archon and 82 on the Muton. So let's take out the Muton from here. There we go. That's one less at least. And now, now we need to be careful. So we have still two shots left. Sad thing is that I can't do more than the guaranteed damage over here, so... I'm just gonna put him as close as I can. And try to get another shot off. There we go. And then 74, that's still very bad, but hey. Oh, shit. Okay, so that means I'm not gonna kill the Viper, because I'm gonna prioritize the, uh, the Archon first. Uh, there we go. Seriously? What? I'll get him next time. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, who's gonna die? Because that, that Archon is gonna be pissed. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. So yeah, Benito, you're gonna get smacked in the face. Hopefully not die. Oh, that was critical. That was 10 damage. Holy shit. And then that thing is gonna teleport, of course. And who's at? Who is he gonna? Fi is he gonna fire? No. Okay, he's gonna do a storm. That's well, not not gonna say good, but did he just? Okay, and then that's that's not good. That is that is definitely not good. Okay, but I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is, is somebody panicking? No. So loot expired. That's not bad. He's bound. He's... He doesn't have any ammo. So everybody is out of ammo. Um, 
Ooh. Why are you... Oh, yeah, because your cover is gone. Okay, so Cedric can't do anything. Could I get Benito... I could get him up here. Looks like he has an auto-loader, so... Oh, gold. Yeah, okay. Put yourself... Put, put yourself over there. Should be out of reach of the explosion, I think. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna take some damage. Um, then reload. That's for free. Okay. And now you can fire at pretty much everything. I do want to kill that viper. I really, really want to kill that viper. Um, ooh. We don't have an auto loader on, or do we? Is that an auto loader? Can I see that somehow? Auto loader. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Might might be able to do something with this. Um, so, Kristoff, go over there. You say. Oh, God, I'm really glad with those auto loaders. Auto loaders for the win! Reload! And then use a shotgun blast to get rid of that fucking viper. Goodbye, sir! Goodbye, breeding room. So, that's the trophy you get for uh, killing a viper that's uh, strangling you one of your teammates. One? Um. So now we have Implacable, which is also really good. Um, get a bit closer. Ulrich, get a bit closer. So now you should be able to get... Hmm. Do you take damage from... Cause you're... You're a mechanical unit, right? Is a Codex mechanical? I can actually check that. So let's go to Benito. And if I use combat protocol on the sectoid, does that do... Oh, no. Sectoid. Codex. Codexes are not mechanical units, apparently. That's not that bad, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to fix this. Um, I can't fire with Kistov anymore, so that's... Something. Uh, I can, however... Reload with Cedric. And he has sight on the Codex, I think, yeah. So if, I've, if I'm going to fire at him, he's going to split in two. So I'm going to have to wait. I think I'm going to use the flank shot that you has. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit closer to just... Oh, but I don't want to trigger anything. No, I'm not going to risk it. 89 is plenty. Although we've missed a lot of those shots right now. But, Hugh, please put a few lasers. He even fucking dodged it. Making my work even harder, because he's going to split into two of uh, five and four health. That is that is really nice of you. But that's that's actually pretty good. So that means... Cedric has a shot on that, right? 95. So that's pretty good. And then Benito still... I do I still need to kill that fucking Archon, though. Is an Archon a mechanical unit, actually? I don't think an Archon is a robot either. Combat protocol... No, 4 damage. Okay, okay, okay. Just just gonna fire a grenade. No, I'm not gonna fire a grenade. Am I gonna fire just normally? Well, you know what? We've been really unlucky with the high percentage shots. Maybe we're gonna be lucky with the low percentage shots? And he's gonna do one damage either way, so that means I can use combat protocol to kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, battle frenzy all you want, but it's gonna shock you to death. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm really not sure if that explosion is gonna kill him. Yeah, I can't risk it. I really can't risk it with, uh, with Benito over here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put him away for now because if that explosion hits him he's gonna die and i don't want to have to deal with that um then we have yes yes we have a sword yes we have a sword go for it and slash thank you jazz that was uh that was really nicely done hopefully not triggering anything else please just duck duck down duck down thank you Okay, so now we have a sniper. Sniper shot. Sniper shot at the codex. 95% shot. Thank you very much. 
Codex is down. Um, so the only thing left standing is the Archon. It's the Archon. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, four damage. I can... Yeah, I can kill him with a grenade. Woo! I can kill him with a grenade! Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, see you never again. Auf Wiedersehen! Thank you! And, of course, that wasn't the last of it, so... Can I just end the turn? Yeah, okay. So that's gonna explode. Thank you very much. And now we're gonna have to find more enemies. Because there's still a single batch of enemies somewhere. Oh, there they are. Ooh, he's gonna get shot in the face. Almost. Almost, Jazz. Better, ne better luck next time. Better luck next time. So that's a Muton, a Trooper, and a Lancer, I think. I think that's a Lancer. Yeah, okay. So if he's gonna blast, seriously. Yeah, there we go. Lancer's gonna get short. Short. Wham! Seriously. This is probably the worst mission so far that we've done. In uh, aiming percentages, because we've been missing a lot of shots. So, um... Yeah, Ulrich, I think you can you can get a grenade off, right? You can get a grenade off. I have all the faith in you, my man. My man. With the, the lovely flexing arms. Let's get that plasma grenade in there. Oh, you... I saw it. I saw it. No. One further. I can see it. Coming in the air of the night. Oh, Lord. So yeah, I don't think I can get it. Uh, I do hear another third, by the way. So I'm, I am going to remove the cover of the trooper and the armor of the mutant. So that's that's a pretty good deal, I think. There we go. Explosion. Now the mutant still has his cover, though. So that's a bit worse. But I think I have enough flank shots to kill all of them. Um, Jazz, Jazz, yes, Jazz, you have another I shot that is, you. right, you missed your Overwatch shot, but I think we're gonna be able to, uh, to fix that, uh, that tiny little issue. 73, I think we're gonna go for the 73. Oh, in the face, in the face, goodbye, Muton. Yes, indeed, whatever that meant. I think enemy killed or something like that, um... Huh. And now we need to be careful because I still want to kill that Lancer over there as well. Um, maybe I want to shoot A eh? just to be uh, certain because he has he has armor. Since when do they have armor? Um, so let's just put Benito Come over on. here. Ooh, can I actually? Ooh, maybe I should try this. Yeah, why not? A seventy percent. It's not amazing, but might as well try. He hasn't missed any yet, so... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. Information leading to the location of an alien facility. No. I'm gonna go for the intel. Oh, shit. That's gonna be damaging. Luckily, we healed him. Because now we're gonna get a bit of damage. It's not that much, but... So, three damage. There we go. Not that much, but it's something. But now we're rid of the Lancer, so... Yeah, I think, Kistoff, do you, uh... Can you do the honors of uh, taking out that trooper it. over there in the wild? Shotgun Blast, flank trooper, 81%. Just get it over with. There we go. Finally. I think that's it. Well, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Status Implacable, yeah, but All I think it's over. Are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Woo! So, two soldiers wounded, though. We haven't been getting those flawless ratings uh, lately, but yeah, it's better than nothing, I suppose. 12 or 3rd? Oh, yeah, because that turret doesn't really count as an enemy. Because, uh, yeah, there was a turret on the back of the train, probably. New record and average damage per attack. Kistov made most, dealt most damage. Cedric dealt most, most, most attack. <laughs> Cedric made most attacks. And he was on the fire the most, and Benito moved the furthest this time, actually. That is interesting. But Operation Mountain Gold is a grandiose success. 
Give me that loot. And I must say, we got that pretty, pretty okay for what went wrong there. Uh, that Mimic Beacon definitely uh, shaved off a bit of damage that we would have taken otherwise. But Benito and Cedric are wounded. I don't know why Benito's health is all the way down uh, to 3. Because he only lost 3 at the end there. But So 6 days without Benito and 4 days without Cedric. And sadly no promotions. So a Codex Brain and then a lot of corpses. A lot of alien alloys, alien crystal supplies and 3 alien cores. So we didn't even need the loot. That is interesting. And the Archon Autopsy, an aesthetically impressive specimen, the hidden horrors of melding organic tissue with the inner workings of a machine are well disguised here. The unique melee weapon employed by the creature could be of particular interest to our rangers, indicating that we uh, could get a weapon upgrade from, uh, from well, researching the Archon. Um, but, hmm, I'm gonna keep the engineer in the Advanced Warfare Center just to speed up the healing. Um, and otherwise, I don't think we really have anything. We're cracking the alien encryption in three days. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the map. And there we go. Supply drop available. Not now to the alien alloys and just head to the supply drop and finish that off. Plotting new course. And then I'm going to have to take a look what else we can do. Because there's a few things we can actually do. Not fly back to Resistance HQ and no, I'm not interested in that. Um, I do want to make contact with Western Europe, so, but I'm gonna have to wait until everybody's out of the sick bay. You know what? I'm just gonna do something uh, first. Um, I can't get, we still have an open spot here, that's gonna be another uh, power facility, so if I remove the engineer from clearing the alien machinery over here for a minute, there we go, so that's, that increases a hell of a lot. And then we boost the resistant comms by putting an engineer in there. There we go. Mull in, so we get two extra resistance contacts that we can actually do. And now we're gonna try and contact Western Europe. Because, yeah, we can do that now. 40 intel because of the radio relay in uh, Europe over there already. So let's make contact. Setting course for Sector 7. Western Europe attempting to establish oh, local and the Avatar project contact. is completing again okay then we're gonna have to reevaluate what the we do continue to make progress on the Avatar six days project. if we're going to slow them down we'll need to move fast six days what can we do in six days because yeah we can do a bit of stuff in six days right because the black side isn't going anywhere for now could get that soldier Otherwise, we just do... I'm gonna spend the time just so we could get Benito and Cedric again. Get them back, so let's not waste any time and let's just spend it. Uh, alien encryption is done, so let's check that out. Before we can even begin to attempt decrypting the alien data stores, we must first come to understand the means by which they protect their most valuable data. It was immediately clear that the aliens do not rely solely on conventional algorithms, but instead use a complex matrix of interwoven biological signatures as part of the cipher itself. An additional layer of protection is afforded by an ongoing field of psionic interference tied directly into the advent network itself. If we're to have any chance of defeating the multiple safeguards the aliens have in place, it's likely we'll have to design specialized equipment to isolate, isolate each layer of encryption before we attempt to press on with our investigation. Meaning that we're going to have to skulljack a bit more and uh, make this facility, which will allow us to uh, capture aliens. Viper autopsy is now instant, which I'm going to do, because that gives us a to be growing more very nice upgrade. To seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material. I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. So the species he's referring to were the Tin Men, I and for some reason they changed gender in this game. That the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man there we go. has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. And for some reason that reptilian creature, creature has boobs. I find it truly really remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species' genetics are to the constant tweaks they're often subjected to. 
In the case of the Viper, a species once identified as the infiltration unit known as a Tin Man, the aliens have made a conscious reduction in their efforts to disguise its true form. Without the introduction of extensive human genetic material, the Viper reverts to its purely reptilian form while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The Viper's snake-like form is in many ways similar to the legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso musculature allows for upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allow for the handling of traditional weaponry. Of the many alien species our troops encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. I can't agree more, but new proving ground project available. Battlefield medicine. The venom injected by the viper into its victim is nasty stuff, capable of taking down even the biggest toughest soldier. However, it, is also, it also contains a number of enzymes that could be isolated for use in our medicates, greatly improving coagulation at wound sites. So uh, if we do that, we're going to improve the uh, healing rate of our medkits. Um, hmm, I think it's high time we start investing in uh, better weapons. Uh, we have a few other interesting autopsies, but I'm going to focus on plasma rifles. I had assumed you Simple as that. Your priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. So New let's head... Okay. Added. Yeah, build the shadow chamber. I know, I know. Um, but now we need to go to engineering. Encryption methods. We can now construct a facility designed specifically to... Sorry, Tiger, I'm going to cut you off. We oh, or not. Related to their avatar project. I would suggest we begin immediately. I think that decision is up to me. Uh, well, Shen, I have something really, really interesting for you. So, uh, one Illyrium core, two Viper corpses and 50 supplies for improved battlefield medicine that's gonna be very very handy i'm gonna put another experimental ammo in there as well uh just now that we have the alirium course it's gonna come in really handy so let's head back to the bridge is there anybody still here yeah it seems like benito and cedric are still in here so let's go to the bridge and continue scanning uh the resistance haven over there Cedric has recovered, so that means that Benito is probably just a few hours away from healing himself. And if that is the case, before anything else happens, we're gonna go to the Advent Black site. But there we go, completed uh, Europe. I think we even get its continent bonus since we uh, placed a relay over there. Long live the resistance. So new income 55, 55 new supplies, new region available. And the new bonus gain, fire and ready, all experimental ammo, grenade and weapon proving ground projects are completed instantly. So there we go, ammo complete, AP rounds, ooh hoo hoo. So a hand machine from ultra strong, ultra light alien alloys, these deadly rounds will effectively bypass all enemy armor to deal unmitigated damage. One AP rounds has been added to the inventory. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, I'm quickly gonna check the mat bay. Uh, is Benito still in there? He still is in his nicely blue suit. Um, with that done, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just scan Avengers at the soldier a bit. A new course. Benito might just heal from the from the travel over there because he's he's almost done, I think. Okay, advanced explosives done as well. Carry on. So uh, the upgraded EMP bomb deals a massive amount of damage to robotic and mechanical targets. Even those that survive the initial damage can be temporarily shut down and unable to function. Organic enemies are immune to EMP effect. Smoke bomb. So it gives a defensive boost to any unit. And that's about it, apparently. Is Benito still not? Because I'm starting to run out of time here. Is he still? Yeah, because Sadok is even helping him out there. Um, okay. This is getting really close, boys. Really, really close. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Sadok has recovered from his wounds again, and Benito as well. So, that means um, we're gonna go to the Advent Black side. Uh, let's head over there. I'm gonna set up a few of the troops that we're gonna take with us. So, launch the mission either Set way. Course for West Asia. Look at that time. It's really, really close. Really, really close. But uh, we're very close to the other uh, side that we can raid. Uh, so that might come in handy. I think that advanced explosives also boosts the damage for the grenades, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually thinking about taking an, an entirely new squad for this mission. It's only difficult 
because we're doing this pretty late uh, in the game. Doesn't mean that there can't be anything nasty spawning there, of course, but... Huh. Ignoring armor. So units with armor usually don't have all that extra health. So if I could put that on Cedric... I'm just gonna put that on Cedric. Yeah, if I can give him the armor piercing rounds, even with, uh, for example, the, uh, the pistol, it's gonna do great as well. Why is he still shaking? Yeah, he didn't recover from previous mission, so he... It's probably because he can't be damaged during a mission. So let's give him the armor piercing rounds. That's gonna come in very handy. Especially if we can give him a good position. And with Killzone, that's gonna be amazing. Um, and I think... Do I remove Benito? I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna remove Benito. Ah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna just remove our healer. That's even a more stupid idea, don't we? I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, extra grenades would be handy, but we're pretty good on the rest of them because we don't really have extra items. What I am going to do is that, that we really have a blade master. I'm gonna upgrade the uh, arc blade and finally. So now that we have that. Um, and I think now that we have the supplies, I'm gonna buy a nanoscale vest. And put that on uh, Ulrich over here, just so he has a bit of a bit more beef to his body. There we go. It's not actually visible, but that just uh, boosts his health up a bit. There we go. Um, and then I want to give. Are we done? No. You need to upgrade the the sword. Or is that shown already? Yep. There we go. The sword, arc blade. So now that does 4 to 6 damage instead of uh, 3 to 5, I think. Because uh, that's boosted by the uh, Blade Master skill, which he still has, right? Yeah, Blade Master, there we go. So if all goes well, Jazz should be running around slashing people in the face. Then we have Christoph to shoot people in the face. And then, of course, everybody else who's going to do their job as always. But that's going to have to wait until next episode. And then we're going to finally investigate the advent black site and take out that facility so thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and if you haven't already don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because i'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me so thanks again enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video series goodbye yeah,